So we actually got something a little bit different. We're headed down to Pennsylvania on a little trip. We have a lot of little stops planned on kind of like a little food tour, and we're gonna go see the sites and all that stuff. And I think I'm gonna break out a lot of the restaurant stuff into separate videos, but this is just like an overall video that's gonna go over the, the totality of the trip. I got my driver here, Cassie, who is uh, graciously driving us down. I just don't have the patience to drive, and she's just so much better at it than I am. I really hope you guys enjoy this. Once, once I have those other videos kind of finished, what I'll do is I'll link them down below, and you can kind of tick through them, and we got a lot of really good things planned. first night we got down here to Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, and we drove in. We wanted to go to this reading market and go to Tommy Dinick's, but we got there like an hour before the place closed and they were all sold out. But we did make it to Termini Brothers Cannolis, which they had a whole bunch of amazing baked goods. Everything looked amazing. They have these legendary cannolis. And one thing I love about them already, they filled them there to order. And also they don't give you like that bullshit powdered sugar all over it. So it's, it looks pretty epic. We got one each, so I'm gonna actually cheers it. Cheers. So let's see how we're doing here. You know it's good when you bite into it and it falls apart. You also know it's good when the cream touches each other on the inside. That's how you know they fill them right. This is amazing, this is the best cannoli I've ever had. I've had cannoli all over Brooklyn, Staten Island, New Jersey. This is amazing. This came in at $5, which is actually the most I've spent on a cannoli, but very much worth it. Like I said, we had planned to go to that Tommy Denix and get the roast pork with uh, broccoli rabe and provolone. Didn't work out this time, but maybe next time. I think for the rest of the night here, we're gonna try to figure out something close to our hotel. Our room is super nice. I'm actually really excited about this day. I think we're gonna have a really good time over the next few days. So what we ended up doing for dinner was just going downstairs, right from our hotel, there's this place right around the corner called Tria. It's like, like a little tapas, kind of like snack type thing, glass of wine, very simple. Then on the way home, there was this place around the corner from like, like on the same block as the hotel where we were in. What's the name of that place? What? The Italian place. <laughs> it's called Grand Cafe Aquila. It, it was like this kind of city style uh, Italian place with gelato. We had to get some gelato there, but they had like Italian imports, a little wine bar in the back. Kind of cool little place. We en I ended up settling on this Forza Italia. They kind of rebranded one of their flavors. To, it was um, Zuppa Anglese, which is like some trifle dish that I must have had in the past at some point because it tasted very familiar. Um, the gelato was very good. So day one so far was, I would say, pretty good. We, um, when we got into town, the fact that the reading market was closing as we got there was a little bit disappointing, but you know. Reading market? Isn't it reading? Reading terminal. I think they thought it was at your reading though. But I thought it was like, the reading, like um, the railroad's a monopoly. It's Reading Railroad. No, it's Reading Railroad. It's Reading. You Comment below, Reading or Reading? <laughs> when you play Monopoly, what's the name of the of the railroad? There's B and W, right, or B and Q. I, I don't remember now. I guess I'll have to look it up. So the market being closed, closing, and Tommy Denix not being open, that was one of the spots we wanted to hit. I don't think we're gonna get back down there, but we got tons of other stuff planned. Day two is gonna to be tourist trap. I'm telling you right now, everybody who's told me when you go to Philadelphia, don't go to these two places, I'm going straight in. And it's just because I honestly, I need that tourist right now. I, I need to be a tourist. It's been a while since I've been out in the wild here. So I gotta see what this is all about. One thing that we did do this morning before kind of getting into everything, planning out the day, we went to this La Colombe, 
uh, coffee place. Now you might recognize this. They actually sell their canned coffees at Trader Joe's and we get them all the time. So kind of cool to see them in the wild here. So we had to check it out. I got a uh, iced coffee, very good. Kind of get me ready for the day. Skipping breakfast because I want to save up as much as I can for you know the events of today. We're gonna basically just do a little bit of shopping and kind of, I think, take a little break from food, but I think we're gonna have some fun on the vlog here. Not all food related in this video. The food related will kind of weave in and out with the other features on the channel. So it's the first full day in Philadelphia, and today we really don't have anything big planned except for actually one of the bigger things we came for is the Taurus Trappy Pats vs. Gino. That's exactly what we're gonna do today. And like I said, it, I want this tourist experience. I gotta know what either of these is about and why people actually say it's a tourist trap. So other than that, we're just gonna catch our bearings here in Philadelphia and figure out what else is going on. We have a lot of different stops planned. And like I, like I said, I'm gonna break those out into individual videos. But if you keep watching this through, you kind of see little bite-sized pieces of what's to come here on the channel. So make sure you're subscribed if you haven't. Uh, or I'll update this video with links as I publish those videos as well. So next thing you'll see is Pats versus Geno's and I'll check back in just to let you know kind of how it goes without any spoilers. We just finished shooting that Pats versus Geno's and you're gonna have to get watch that video to actually see what the verdict is, but it was actually very interesting. I got, we, we got a lot to say about kind of what happened in that whole showdown. I think that, um, I think I understand a little bit why people think it's tourist trappy, but I also think that it has, there's a little bit of heritage that I think is important to experience when you come to Philadelphia. We just stopped for coffee at this place, Anthony's over here coffee and a cannoli to wash down our Gino's cheesesteak challenge. Uh, just needed some place to kind of park for a little bit. And honestly, we're walking around this little Italy, kind of like a, it's, a, it's kind of ethnic neighborhood. It's like a Mexican block and an Italian block. Kind of cute little place. We're just a few blocks away from Pat's and Gino's and I'm still thinking about it. I don't know. I don't know who I'm going to call the winner in this one. I might need a few more blocks to actually make that decision. This reminds me a lot of Steakums. I am seriously drained, I am seriously drenched. It is probably the hottest day we've experienced all summer. And we're just out and about in the city here. We did the Pat and Gino's, I just did that wrap up for, for the video just now. And when we were walking around, we took a break at a coffee shop, had a nice coffee, a cannoli, just because fat boy summer is not ending here. And you know, we also did a little bit of shopping in that, in that region. There were some really cool sneaker shops and I got a cool hat I'm gonna show you guys in a minute and just a lot of fun stuff. And then when we got back to the hotel, right around our hotel, there was some other shops. So we picked up some stuff for Noah and it was just a fun day. It was very draining because it's the first time we've actually been out and about in quite a while. But you know, it's nice to be back at the hotel, I'm gonna jump in the shower, get out of these drenched clothes and you know, maybe relax a little bit before we figure out what to do for dinner. Not really sure, we have no plans, but I'm thinking maybe we might try to find some place nearby and maybe get some kind of takeout or something. Something low key. I, I think that we have some stuff planned over the next days. I think that they're going to be a little bit more formalized and probably broken out of the vlog here. But but let me show you guys the hat that I got. I, I went to this place called City Blue that I, I was blown away with what they had in there. It was a lot of like really cool cut and sew stuff and just a lot of really like amazing clothes. And, and I, I love buying clothes and hats and sneakers if you guys are new. And this one's a cool one. One of the things that you guys co comment on a lot are the different hats and things I wear in videos. And whenever I find a cool design, I have to get it. This one, the simplicity of this one caught me. You guys know I, I have a lot of Chicago Bulls stuff. I'm not really a sports fan. I just think that it's really cool. Red and black and gray are kind of my colors. And this was the design right here. Pretty amazing. You flip something upside down and you have no idea how, how much it changes the actual aesthetic. But it's just a black Mitchell and Ness also you know, a Philadelphia company hat that I love to add to the collection. We decided on a place called Cleavers for dinner tonight, which is the same day that we did the tasting at Pat's and Gino's. And I honestly wanted to just have another kind of opinion on this. That's gonna be a separate breakout video as well, but I'll check in after the dinner and let you know, give you like a big thumbs up or a thumbs down kind of overview of the restaurant. But gonna do it low key and might do that as a recap video. I'm not really sure yet. We'll see how much energy I have when we get back to the room here. That Carver's was a pretty big success. Really enjoyed the cheesesteak there. 
I'm gonna let you watch the review. That one kind of filled a little bit of the void that was left by Pat's and Gino's. I'll leave it at that. My, my lips are on fire from what I ordered there though. All right, so <laughs> I'm having a little bit of an internal struggle here. I keep referring to the restaurant Cleavers as Carvers, okay? The name of the place is Cleavers. I've just filmed everything. I had to make a correction for the review. And I just wrapped on filming that review. And I just tried to film a clip here explaining it, and I had to go in and delete that. It's just a big to-do. The name of the place is Cleavers, for God's sake. I think though, as far as vlog activity for, for the official day one, the full day one, I think we're pretty much done. Our feet and our backs are killing us. We need to lay down, relax. We have a pretty big day planned tomorrow. I think we're gonna go to the zoo and see a few of the sights around here. I definitely wanna see the Rocky statue. I mean, it's probably the most touristy thing you can do here in Philadelphia, uh, but I just need to do it. Like I said, I need this touristy experience. It's, it's what I'm here for. But that's it for the official day, full day one. So the second full day here in Philadelphia, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna get some bagels down the road from our hotel. I think that there's a place that actually makes Montreal bagels, which I think is gonna get its own review here. So, and then I think after that, we're gonna go do some sightseeing. First, we're going to the zoo, which should be fun, I guess. And then just seeing a couple of the other things. I, I think we're gonna have a really fun day. So we decided to do the, the Philadelphia Zoo today and that's what we're headed in to do. The first thing you see when you get into this zoo is the monkeys and you can probably see him right here, he's sleeping. It was funny to, to get up here, there's this bus service called Flash. We, we took that in, you have to take one to get around like the, the general square of Philadelphia. Kind of nice ride. And then you got to transfer to a place in, uh, like there's a transfer station. It's, it's right by the Philadelphia Museum of Bar. The bus driver we got to get into the zoo was hilarious. She was almost bashing into cars. There was a sign, a road sign that was backwards and she was letting people in. She was a, a total riot. When we got off the bus, she was like, by the way, the zoo sucks now. There's no elephants. I had to make a little bit of a fat joke on myself and said, hey, the elephants are here now. So anyway, and don't tell Cassie this, I'm, a, I'm of the opinion that the zoo sucks, elephants are not, but we're gonna have a good time. We've been walking around the zoo for a couple hours now and it's, uh, it's really nice, nice to be out in this type of like conservation type thing. They're doing a really good job, I think, kind of bringing it back to normal, but I think there's definitely some obvious places where I think between general upkeep and there's a lot of shops that are closed. So I think it's gonna take a while to get back into the swing of things, but it's, it's still a lot of fun. Really great to get out here. We made a quick stop to try this water ice, also known as water ice here. So we'll give it a quick shot. I got strawberry lemonade. Cassie got cherry, but I'm gonna on this. It's good, it's very sweet. Definitely not like Italian ice. It melts very quickly, very good. The kind of cool thing about where we stopped to get this water ice is if you look right here, that's the Rocky statue. You know, the one from Rocky three or four where he throws the helmet. That had to be three. And then right here are the steps that Rocky ran up in Rocky one. Probably other Rockies, I don't know. And as the story goes, they parked the statue on the other side of this food truck here because the Muse Philadelphia Museum of Art didn't want it inside. So now it's like a landmark. That's at least the story that Tom Sharpling tells. For the record, after walking that entire zoo, I have no interest in running up those stairs or walking up it. Watching enough people do it, I think I'm, I'm living vicariously through them. So we're just getting back into our hotel room after a pretty long day out with the zoo and then just seeing a couple other sites. I think I might've got a little sun, might've forgotten a little sunblock. Don't tell anybody. Got to clean up and then we got something really fun planned for dinner tonight. I'll check in. There's something really special that we really wanted to check out here. We just had dinner at this place called Drury Beer Garden and I ordered something kind of ridiculous that you guys are going to have to see to believe. We're going to stop for cookies for later. Got to do it. And I'll tell you, I ate a hundred dollar bill. Next time I talk to you, there will be cookies. We have cookies. 
It's been a long day. We're gonna go to bed. I don't even know what's planned for tomorrow. Just waking up for day three of this trip and uh, first thing I got to do before we do anything is post today's YouTube video. It's actually Saturday because the grind doesn't stop. All right, so now that that's finished, we're ready to, to go take on the rest of this day. We kind of made a later brunch or lunch reservation uh, at a place called, what's it called again? Tallulah's Garden. Ah, Tallulah's Garden. From there, we were gonna do some more touristy stuff, like go see the Liberty Bell, and then go to like this like boardwalk type place. Should be a lot of fun. I, uh, I'm looking forward to this brunch. I haven't really had breakfast food other than bagels, but I really could go for like a nice cooked, composed meal. It's gonna be a good one. We just had brunch at this Tallulah's Garden. It was very good. Gonna be a full review on that one. I think now we're headed down to the Liberty Bell. My dad claims that his cousins are here in Philadelphia and I think I found them. He didn't tell me they were jewelers though. One of the things that any travel guide for Pennsylvania tells you to do is check out Wawa and that's what we did. We got coffee. Honestly, it's, it's a convenience store. It's like exactly what we got at home, Stewart's Cumberland Farms. It's a little nicer. I think this one is actually like, kind of like a train station kind of thing, but definitely fun. Wanted to stop in just to see what it was all about. We're trying to figure out where to actually go to see this Liberty Bell. Like, like we really care that much. We walked down this entire block that pointed us to one way. I think it actually was at the, at the beginning of that block, but we're gonna go see if we could try to get in and see what this thing looks like. I'm gonna guess it's a big metal bell. Yeah, we're going with, we don't really care about this bell enough to stand in this line. Look at this thing. I mean, it is free, but it's like, it's it's sweltering. We're, we're tired. So we're gonna maybe go walk around this waterfront for a little while, but this might be a short day in the grand scheme of days here, so. So you wanna see the Liberty Bell? Go to, go to Pennsylvania, Philadelphia. Look up a video on YouTube, honestly. <laughs> probably better. One thing I'll say, even though we've been Ubering around for, for dinners that are kind of outside of our vicinity, it's, they have like a really good bus system. There, there's this um, Philly Flash downtown thing that takes you around a rim. And that's what we were able to get to the zoo with yesterday. So that was really convenient. And we're doing that again today. I think it was $5 a day for unlimited rides. So that you really can't go wrong with that. Um, you know, we're kind of novice travelers, so I'm sure there's probably easier ways to get around, but I mean, this is convenient enough. Their air conditioned bus, bus is clean, really good. This is the seaport. It just seems like, honestly, like I've been to the sea and you don't really smell much of the sea here. It's kind of interesting. I um, don't know what to make of it, but it's gonna have a nice little leisurely walk down here. Uh, not a lot of people, which is good. Some of those areas we were in, there's a lot of, a lot of traffic, a lot of people. So this is in lieu of walking up the steps at the Rocky Philadelphia Museum. Now we got to walk back to the bus. It is, uh, it's hot, very hot, very, very hot. Our bus is pulling up right here, but just to give you a frame of reference, it's 96 degrees and it, it feels like 108 and I can confirm it's exactly what it feels like. So we caught a little bit of a second wind after riding that flash bus. And I think what we're gonna do is, we're staying in an area called Rittenhouse Square. And there's actually a little like Rittenhouse Square Park and some shopping to do down there. And you know we love our shopping here on the channel. So we're gonna go check that out for a little while before we head back to the hotel. The whole thing is there's supposed to be like, we're getting alerts for flash floods. So it's gonna rain at some point. So we wanna figure, we figure, get what we need to done for the rain. Then we can clean up, go to dinner, and that, that'll be it. So. Shopping. That was so and then the, the last thing we have planned on this trip is actually brunch at this place here, The Love. So that's tomorrow morning and should be a lot of fun. Might get some coffee before that. That'll be its own review. But yeah, let's walk down to this square. Okay. 
This appears to be the Rittenhouse Square. Where there's a little farmer's market we just walked around. Kind of cool stuff. It reminds us a lot of the Troy Farmer's Market or Del Mar or whatever is around in our area. But lots of fun. Now we're gonna hit some retail. No success shopping, no shame in that. We uh, really just wanted to walk around and get a little more Philadelphia out of our system. Uh, we're gonna go to back to the hotel, relax. Maybe I'll uh, film the reaction to that. Um, what's the name of that place again? Good yeah, Tallulah's Garden. We'll see, I don't know. I, I don't have a lot of energy now and I wanna get the energy up for that one because it was a really good one. Anyhow, we'll get you back on the tripod once we uh, are ready for dinner. So we are just finishing up getting ready. We're going out to dinner tonight. We like to do on these trips kind of one dinner that's nicer than everything else. When I say nicer, I mean, uh, you know, we had a lot of kind of casual stuff planned. A couple of brunches, some cheese steaks. So this is more of a slow paced. Cassie's really good at setting this stuff up. I, uh, I'm horrible at finding these places and figuring out where to go. But we're going to a restaurant called Amada, which is owned by Iron Chef Jose Garces. It's one of his restaurant groups. Uh, places and it's focused on Spanish tapas. So we're gonna have a couple little bites and some wine, maybe some sangria. It's gonna be a fun night. And I think that's definitely gonna be its own recap video. But you know, obviously with the vlog here, we'll check back in after dinner. Just finishing up dinner at the Samada, we did a tasting menu and it was actually really good, some sangria. There were a couple of dishes we got that were hit or miss, and then a lot of them were in the middle, and I'll, I'll outline all of it in my, uh, my full review of the place. The chef wasn't there, but we didn't expect him to be there. Um, yeah, it was a fun night. We just had uh, an exciting couple of minutes there getting back to the hotel, so we Ubered back from Amana. Armana? Lift in Amada. Amada, and we, we lifted back. <laughs> Uber lift, it's the same crap. But um, lift is better, I guess. It, it just started downpouring. Like we started feeling a trickle and we're like, oh man, and it's saying a minute away. And anyway, we got a little soaked while we were getting in the car, but we're, we're fine now. We're back at the hotel, gonna clean up. Tomorrow's our last morning here. We have a quick brunch scheduled. We might grab a coffee before that because it's a little later in the day. And then we're gonna hit the ride home. So I'll meet you guys in the morning. The hardest part about doing the vacation thing here is doing the cleanup thing and we're actually just packing up now, kind of like Tasmanian Devil style. We got the laundry pile, we got the, the packing pile, we got the miscellaneous stuff that we acquired pile, but we're gonna get all that done. Might go down for coffee to this really cool place. Then we got brunch and then we're heading out. Let's go get some coffee. We were looking to check out this Conditori Swedish coffee place. Uh, but it looks like they're closed for now, but we got here just as they opened, so I don't know. We'll see. And while we wait here for coffee, there's this place here, the Westin, right? It has a restaurant called Winthorpe and Valentine Bar and Grill. If you saw Trading Places, you'll know what that means. If you didn't, you gotta see Trading Places. espresso quick pick me up all right let's go eat so we just finished up brunch at that place the love which actually was very good so the love and one of the other places we went to earlier in the week don't remember the name right off the top ah Tallulah's Garden that's right they're owned by the same people but I think the love was a better experience overall and I'll get a little deeper into that in the, in the individual reviews, but just called down for our car, got to get it loaded up and hit the road back to Albany. So we're getting out of Pennsylvania. We're actually in Jersey on the turnpike on the way home. 
really great trip. I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog style. The mistake I made when I did Montreal was I was literally shooting, editing, and posting the same day. And I wanted to kind of enjoy this trip a little bit more, not really be kind of married to the YouTube life and uploading. So I, I decided to break out those posts that, you know, for all those restaurants as separate reviews. And I think that's gonna be really cool. You can come back to this post and they'll be linked down below for all that. I think as far as this trip, I, I, we were talking about it over brunch this morning. And I, I, I really think it was a great trip. I think the Pats versus Geno's thing was a lot, whole lot of fun. I think Cleaver's was a better cheesesteak overall as far as that whole thing goes. And just getting a lot of the culture and doing a lot of the touristy things, just the great kind of first trip back into the swing of things here. And we have another trip planned for later this summer and we'll get to that at some point too. Uh, one of the biggest missed opportunities we had was right on the same block as our hotel, there was a place called General Sow's House, which just it to, to us sounded like it was it was weird, but it was a legit Sichuan restaurant. All the restaurants around our hotel were really good as far as like just fun little places. It seemed like a nice hip vibe, kind of cool place to say. We stayed at Sofitel in Rittenhouse Square. So if you're ever looking for a place to stay in Philadelphia, I definitely recommend that. The biggest bust of the trip, I, I, we were kind of going back and forth on this too. And I think the that has to go to the Summerfest where like we're walking around this thing and it, it's like a fair and it's all set up and there's employees. I mean, there were tons of employees there. I didn't really do too much vlogging there, but I took some clips. It was just dead. There was nothing going on. I think it gets better at night. I think that's when most people go, but even getting off that flash bus there, it was just like, it was just ridiculous how like we pulled up on it and it was like the, the stop was on an overpass over a highway and I, I motioned over to Cassie and I'm like, is this serious? And like, I, I like, like she was the one playing a joke on me, but it ended up being just this like desolate place. And, you know, it is what it is. So I hope you guys like this. If you did hit, hit a like, and if you hit subscribe, if you haven't subscribed already, you'll get notified as soon as those other videos are posted. It's gonna be over the next several weeks. I don't, I really don't wanna overload with that. So I'll pepper in some of those reviews in between some of the local stuff. And uh, with that, have a great day.